what is up you guys, this is Anthony here at DIY Auto Tech. Today, we're gonna to be talking about soldering two wires together. This technique is hands down the best method to solder two wires together. This soldering method is so excellent, it has been coined and used in almost every industry I can think of. And to date, I cannot find a better method to solder two wires together. This is what I personally use and what everyone I know who works in the field uses. So let's get our soldering gun and our wiring and let's go to work. I'm gonna start with our first piece of wire here and we're gonna take off about two inches of the insulating material. Now because two inches is kind of a long distance, I'll do uh, little increments, so maybe cut every one inch to start off. And we're not cutting through the wire, okay? We're just cutting through the insulating material on the outside. Now that both wires are exposed for about two inches and they've both been checked, what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap them around each other similar to how you would put two fishing lines together when you were tying them. I'll take my first strand and I'll wrap it over the other wire in a circular motion. like so, and we'll do the same with the other side. So as you can see, these wires are perfectly intertwined together, and if I try and pull them apart, I'm pulling as hard as I can, and I cannot get these wires to pull away. The reason being is that they are clinched onto each other as if they were a fishing line. So now when we solder these together, they will be a bulletproof, bombproof, soldering joint. I also want to point out that this is thick 12 gauge wire and this technique actually works a lot better with thinner gauge wire so keep that in mind. So I'm going to touch the joint, get it hot, touch my solder to it and hopefully it'll start melting into the unit. Okay guys as you can see all the way around good clean solder joint. It's a little dirty but my tip is in pretty bad shape. But let's bring in some thinner wire and show you why this method works so much better than other methods. Okay, so let me show you the old school way, right? You take the wire, you, you cut off about an inch of the insulating material. You spread the little cords out, okay? You push them together like so so that they're intertwined and you twist both ends or one end around the other and then the other end around the other. This is the commonplace style of soldering. But here's the problem. They pull apart pretty easily. Okay, others, other people will crisscross and wind around like that. But again, can easily pull apart. So with this smaller gauge wire, let me show you why this new method is so much better. There's a close up of that. And now when I try and pull that apart, it doesn't pull apart. <laughs> So I can pull this and I'll break the wire before I break that okay. joint. I hope this video was helpful for you and I hope you now know why I don't use this and I do use this. Once you throw some insulating shrink wrap over that, say goodbye to it because you're never going to have to look at it again. Guys, also if you want a little more information about how to solder or different soldering techniques, I do have another video on my DIY. Auto Tech YouTube channel on the different techniques, different methods, and we actually do some testing with that as well. So feel free to check it out. I'll leave a link in the description below. As always guys, I'm very thankful for the support. I appreciate you watching these videos, um, liking, sharing, and subscribing to them. And as always, this has been Anthony at DIY Auto Tech. We will see you next time.